Ooh, ooh, lucky you weren't there. Hello, hello, Dennis Allen here. It's really me. Um, what's going on today? It's a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm about to head into town for some bee runch. Uh, but before I do that, I've been contemplating a better way of locking the storage containers. So I ordered something from the Amazons and uh, it's called a lock box. Let me show you what it is. Okay, so this is a lock box. Um, it goes on the front of the shipping containers. It gets locked on there. And what it is, uh, so this stays on one door and it opens. And then there's that in there. And there's a hole. And this lock goes in there and locks onto that while in here. So I guess this is the weak point. Um, but that'd be pretty hard to break, I think. So I'm going to add this in. They give you, uh, some templates, which is very nice. So you mark only one side, only mark the right side. If it's a, if the left door opens first, then use this one. But since it's a right door, um, you mark this, you drill some holes. Zoom. See that? Two holes. The holes go all the way through to the other side. So the bolts underneath, um, there's a notch in there so you can just lift and pull like that. And then same thing for the bottom. Because I guess if that notch wasn't there, you probably couldn't put it all the way in. Nope. So two notches. And then we will run the bolts in there and... Tighten them up. Oh, I don't think, you know what? So here's another step. Make sure your holes, I didn't finish drilling. Make sure your holes are big enough to fit the Z-bolt. So they recommend one of these things. See, you could uh, just keep drilling until you get the right hole, hole size. I don't know what the right hole size is. That's definitely not the right hole size. I guess you just step this down. Uh, it's not close. Whoop. I don't really like using this because I do not want to go over. I don't want to make it too big. I don't know why I wouldn't just use the uh, drill. Let me see if I have a drill bit this big. Okay, that's better. Let's see if it'll work. It's gonna probably dull it really quickly. Um, so let me get a, eh, whatever. Yeah, I think the other way is a little easier. That's probably why they suggested. So I'm gonna do it the other way. All right. So I think that was the half inch mark. Nope. Yikes! One more. Oh, I see. Didn't go all the way through. I have to go in. All right, there you go. Now I just the other side. Look who came to visit. It's Eddie Murphy. What's up, Eddie Murphy? What are you doing? Where's he go for? Where is he? Go get him. All right, so the holes are drilled. I'm gonna attempt. Oh boy. Okay, really hard to do it one hand. Um, just put the bolts in, have them come out the other side. Put the bolts through. Now the washers, the bolts, and tighten. Oh, 
So I closed it with this piece in place, held it to where I wanted to keep it, marked it with a Sharpie, see on top in the bottom, and then I'm gonna open her up. Can't do this with one hand. Ooh, lucky you weren't there. So now, which way does the camera go? So now I have that. I'm gonna mark this. Put that there, mark the holes, and drill some more holes. All right, drill the holes on the other side. Run the bolts in there. Oop, drop the nuts. And nuts and washers. Ugh. I was gonna put Loctite on these, but they have a sealant in there. And they have that blue stuff with uh, some kind of rubber washer thing that's supposed to lock stuff into place. So, could always take it apart and add some Loctite. Okay. They're both on, they close the door. Let's see if we can put this up there somehow. Close that into the nut, which I can't see. There it goes. And then turn the key. I'm gonna try. And that's it. So I could have added uh, a little security. Oh, okay, I was I was a little worried that you'd be able to open up these, take a chain on here, and drive away. So, I mean, you could still do that, but you'd have to knock off these first and then break through that. So, I'm very satisfied with the way this is, uh, this is built. You can't open those, which is really great. It would just be another step for a teeth to have to get into so you could always I guess cut through the sides but the inside is gonna have all shelves and wood so if you cut through that then you have to I guess knock down all the shelves and it's gonna, it's gonna be metal supports in there too so it'd be a pain in the butt to get through there the top's gonna have a roof on it and then this side is gonna have all kind of shelving this way so it's gonna be pretty tough to break into um, I mean, there's not much in there. It's not like there's treasure or anything, it's just my tools. This stuff is just storage of, I don't know, stuff, I don't know, it's probably worth more in there, but just old antiques and stuff. Not, not something really a thief is going to want to steal. So, in there I got power tools, so they like to steal that stuff. I have the Jury City, they could park here anytime, um, for free. No, they can't. Um... So that's it. That is my upgraded shipping container lock system. Very easy to do. It took me maybe 20 minutes and that was filming too. So very easy. I'm heading off to brunch now. Billy Ray is dead still. It's going to be the day. But all right. Thank you all for watching. Oh, do me a favor. Can you tell people about my channel if you like it? If you know anybody with uh, shipping containers? Hey, this might help them. Never know, people. All right, Dennis Allen out.